Hello everyone, welcome to Xinhua Life. I'm Ding Ting from Xinhua and now I'm in Shanghai. Today we will take you to visit a section of the self-driving of the ongoing World Artificial Intelligence Conference held in Shanghai. So in our life today, first we will have you to take the invite the lady of Chiu Tian. Chiu Tian in Chinese means autumn. Hello everyone, I present for the Shanghai Songhong Company and uh, I'll be construct and operate this whole autonomous vehicle area and uh, for the whole site it's about uh, uh, 36,000 square meters and uh, this year uh, we invite about uh, 12 enterprises to participate in this conference and we can uh, consist of four parts. First is uh, um, it's a static display area. So for the first part, we will have uh, ponies to enjoy joy in our life. Hi. Hi. So can you introduce yourself first? Sure. Uh, my name is Anne. I'm an employee of Pony AI. Mm -hmm. So can you introduce? Sure. Um, so we are an autonomous driving technology company, and this is our second year coming to the World Artificial Intelligence Conference. And last year when we were here, uh, we brought a fleet of 10 autonomous driving vehicles and invite more than 2,000 um, public participants to try out the autonomous driving journey. And this year we come back and we thought we need to bring something new to the public. And this is what we are bringing to this show. Really um, cool. <laughs> yes. Um, so last year, we brought our third generation of autonomous driving system. We call it Pony Alpha to the public. And um, actually, we have been engaging with to Toyota. And recently, actually just this week, we announced the collaboration with Toyota, which is um, the biggest uh, international automaker in the world by market capital. And um, as part of our collaboration uh, activities and um, our efforts to promote awesome striving technology in China, we will start from September, conduct um, an autumn striving pilot on public roads in China. We call this LIDAR, mm -hmm. and you can see three LIDARs on the top. Mm -hmm. And around the circle, you can see um, six cameras. Mm -hmm. yes. And around the car body, actually, there's some um, uh, reader. So we use sensor fusion technology, i.e. we bring the best sides of different um, sensors and bring what they perceive of the surroundings of the vehicle and to um, get out a complete view of the world um, around it. And then we have the technology module uh, in our system, which is analyzing the world around it and predicts the behavior and the next steps of the surrounding vehicles, um, the pedestrians, the motorcycles, etc. And then we decide what we would do, the, what the vehicle would do, and we give control um, instructions to the vehicle. Thank you, thank you for the introduction. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you, thank you. Okay. Okay. So for the second vehicle in the static area, so we will have autorized. Right? Yeah, mm -hmm. autorized. And it's a swiping autonomous vehicle. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can ask him to introduce yes. this car to yes. us. Hi, hello. hello nice to meet you. So, first, can you introduce yourself? Yes, yeah, so my, my name is TJ. I'm working for a company called Autowise. Mm -hmm. we're, you know, mm -hmm. we're a Chinese company, mm -hmm. uh, but then well, our focus is on autonomous uh, sweepers. Mm -hmm. So, the best thing of that is we work 24 hours a day, uh, particularly when people are sleeping, it's working. <laughs> and this is actually in a, a very ideal situation where autonomous technology can replace human, human labors, right? Because um, um, human, um, frankly speaking, the, the environment where our sanitation works, uh, working under uh, pretty tough. And this is ideal, basically, a replacement where people do not have to work in work very difficult uh, conditions. They are able to actually uh, do something else. While this uh, autonomous sweeper is able to work 24 hours a day. Okay. Now, so can you introduce Sure. It has actually four to five uh, lidars. Oh, okay. We're using six a sitting line, a sixteen line lidars, four to five, mm -hmm. and we actually have surrounding the vehicle 
um, ultrasonic uh, sensors. Now, the reason we're adding extra um, um, uh, video cameras over there too, and also uh, uh, ultrasonic sensors around the vehicle, is because it helps us to recognize the road edges. Mm -hmm. Now, one thing particular about the sweepers is it, it never works in the middle of the lane, right? It has to actually always follow the edge of the street. Of the street. And this is very important for a sweeper to be functional because most of the garbages tends to actually uh, to be on the side of the, the road. This is where actually uh, makes our vehicle unique. Now, one more thing particular about this vehicle is it doesn't have any um, any um, compartment for human beings, yeah. yes. and it has a red button here mm -hmm. because it, it, it basically the function mm -hmm. is for people to stop it outside. So if I'm a pedestrian, I'm walking around the road, I see this, this thing is actually walking in a very dangerous uh, mode, it, it is, uh, the, the person is able to stop it just by pushing the button. Oh. So it's become a very human being friendly uh, type of thing and people will not be afraid of uh, walking with it when, 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 we, when these machines are operating in the park. Actually, where people jogging alongside with it, they're taking selfies. So this has become a very actually human <laughs> friendly type of thing. And uh, one last thing I want to mention that is that this vehicle is actually um, made in China, but also for, for, for the entire world. We have now exports to uh, Europe and the U.S. Oh, really? So, oh, so that's it's good news. Right. Okay. So, so we're talking about an autonomous sweeper, which is not only made in China, for China, but also for the, for the world. The now is for storage. Yes, but, but we can see the vehicle inside. Yeah, but, but you can see it's not, normally it's not used. Mm -hmm. Normally it's only for um, testing purpose, okay. so it's not used. Now it's a hidden compartment, mm -hmm. but I think our future target mm -hmm. is that we do not need any compartment anymore. So the, the hardware cost of a vehicle, mm -hmm. of a Tom Smith, is the same as a normal vehicle. And at that time, the, the full economics will work mm -hmm. because we are not in, we're not adding any extra hardware cost into it. Mm -hmm. So this is the beauty of this, right? We're adding something, but we're taking something away. So overall, where the overall hardware cost is the same. Mm -hmm. At that time, then we have perfect advantage of going autonomous. We're not adding any hardware cost, but the machine runs without human being cost. So this is where we see where the turning point mm -hmm. is so, taking place. Uh, what I'm concerned is how much it costs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The price. As I said, for now we're at, we're using we're not using very expensive like 64 uh, line or 120 line lidar. That is very expensive. We're using only 16 line lidar, and the cost of which is reducing over 50 percent on a year uh, over year basis. So as I, as I just mentioned, our forecast is that in, within next two years time. Uh, the hardware cost of an autonomous sweeper will be probably the same as a normal traditional sweeper because we're taking out the, uh, the compartment for human beings, we're taking out con air conditioning and um, everything, but then the cost we're adding is also being minimal and at that time uh, we're not adding any extra cost to make a, a sweeper fully autonomous. So great, thank you, thank you for sharing, thank Thanks you. Thanks a lot, thanks mm -hmm. for your time. Okay. Don't be surprised if you if you see any autonomous uh, sweeps on the road going forward, right? <laughs> it's <laughs> yes, perfectly safe. Yes, yes. <laughs> right. yeah. Okay, this is a static display area, mm -hmm. and now let's move to the multi-function area. Okay. Okay. Um. So next, we will have China Mobile. Hi, hello. So. Can you introduce yourself? Okay, uh -huh. uh, I am the the, pro, uh, the, the direct director of uh, China Mobile Intelligent Mobility, mm -hmm. and uh, welcome to our sense. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So we can see six screens. So what does yes. this work for? Okay, so you can see the driver here, uh -huh. and he is driving the car which is far away in the test ground, uh -huh. and he can drive the car here by the six screens you can see on the wall, and the, the streaming data is collected by the six high resolution uh, cameras installed on the on board mm -hmm. and uh, the data is collected through the inter air interface of China Mobile's mm -hmm. 5G network oh. and because the time delay is really low mm -hmm. of this transmission yes. and which is less than 15 milliseconds as tested mm -hmm. so it can support him to re react fast enough and uh, this case can be widely used in many environments uh, at present, for example, like the parking lot, mm -hmm. or the uh, logistic harbor, mm -hmm. or whenever, or mine area, or mm -hmm. whenever the, the uh, autonomous driving doesn't work, mm -hmm. it can take over the car and handle it remotely in the field. Mm -hmm. And in the future, that uh, the 5G network can also help build 
uh, data channel between the vehicle itself and the infrastructure. And it, it can collect the data from the environment to enhance the algorithm of AI uh, algorithm uh, of the autonomous driving and to make it more reliable, more secure, and uh, less with less cost in hardware on board. So I see it really like a game. Oh, yes, <laughs> because yeah, you can see that all these screens are real time. Mm -hmm. And uh, he just judged by this uh, screen. So why he drives so slow? Can um, it be faster? Um, yes, but uh, uh, in this field, mm -hmm. uh, it has limited, uh, ah. I think, a limited speed. And also that because that the technology here is still needs some time to uh, coding and decoding the streaming data. Okay. So it can stay, in, uh, uh, stay st stable in uh, a little bit low speed. Okay. Yeah. But for example, like as I mentioned, that in some cases like mining area mm -hmm. in the harbors, mm -hmm. it just work in such kind of speed. Mm -hmm. So talking about 5G, so what do you think it will go to the autonomous driving in China? Uh, I think uh, mm, it will greatly uh, improve the, the efficiency of autonomous driving mm -hmm. uh, because it's kind of a support. As I mentioned, that it will build uh, a reliable tunnel between the car itself and the environment. So you know that the algorithm need more data to make it more precise and uh, the 5G network can help to collect these data from the other sensors let's say in the infrastructure area and to make the algorithm more efficient mm -hmm. so i think that uh, the 5G network will be definitely necessary mm -hmm. for that step mm -hmm. so we are very looking forward for the 5G network coming yeah we too <laughs> yeah thank you. thank you thank you for introduction thank you. Thank you. okay so for the next part is uh, the dynamic area. Oh, yes, this is the very part I'm looking forward to. It's really well, exciting. It's, it's primary part. <laughs> oh, we can say area. So we can go from this, right? Yeah, yeah, this okay. way, yeah. So for this part, we will have commercial director Frank Wong from Nomax. Hi. 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 So we are so vehicle. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, coming. It's coming. Yeah, over there. Okay. Yes, over there. Okay. Yes. So, so for Nomax, it's the first time to take part in the conference, right? Correct. It's the uh, first time for, for us to join this party. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think uh, uh, Nomax is a uh, relatively new uh, company. We are startup. Mm -hmm. We are autonomous driving, uh, how to say, provider. Technology provider, we support tier one and OEM, provide a, a system uh, a solution, uh, including L3 and, uh, and above, about RoboTaxi, something like this. Also, we have some uh, project is ongoing, yeah. So we can uh, move to the AI route. So, so, for, so for the next step, we will get on to the vehicles. Can you yeah. introduce us about the route, AI route? Yeah, so this is uh, a relatively simple, uh, uh, how to say, uh, user case. Mm -hmm. So uh, we will take uh, our uh, car and drive around. And uh, on the way, you can see some uh, uh, user case like uh, crossroad, like a traffic light, like uh, uphill and uh, uh, grey down, something like this. You can uh, experience the car while braking, acceleration, turn around, and so on. Mm -hmm. So our Vehicle car is, is coming. coming yeah. We can join the car, okay? Yes. So this is our car, and uh, this car equipped uh, some uh, sensing uh, uh, hardware like a camera, like a radar, like a ultrasonic radar. Mm -hmm. So uh, so now you can start this journey, and you can see our driver will not control this car. Oh. The car will drive themselves. Uh, 
Okay, so from this time, so the driver's hand yeah. is really okay. off from the steel. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. free. Mm -hmm. And then we here we have a, a turn round. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So normally we will speed down a little bit mm -hmm. uh, as uh, the, the human driving uh, behavior. And you can see uh, up here, uh, up here, here, so some uh, sp uh, speed down mm -hmm. no? for good experience. Mm -hmm. And then we can accelerate a little bit. And in front of us, we have a traffic lamp. Mm -hmm. So it depends on the color, the car will make some uh, behavior automatically. Mm -hmm. For example, here is green. Then the car will drive uh, continuously. No? Of course, we will speed on a little bit because uh, in the corner we need uh, to see whether there are any object. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So uh, then. Yeah, the red light in front of us. Okay. Okay, we are lucky. We have green here again. Mm -hmm. Then we can continue. Yeah. No? So the, the light here is uh, controlled uh, randomly, which means. Uh, control <laughs> you cannot control and uh, you can have also chance to meet a red line later yeah. so something about our company uh, we provide different uh, solution for different uh, scenario for example like highway pilot for high speed and for low speed we have a uh, traffic jam pilot and also for parking perhaps you can expand later with other uh, how to say company, we have also solution like uh, auto valid parking. Yeah. Okay, so we have already finished one round smoothly. Then if you have time, we can go another round. Yeah, uh, sure, sure. Why not? And uh, also some uh, information again from uh, my side for our company. So uh, Besides uh, OEM and Tier 1 mm -hmm. solution, we also uh, expand effort to preparing robot taxi. Mm -hmm. Do you know robot taxi, no? Not really. <laughs> Not really, okay. Yeah, so, can you explain more? So in the future, uh, the, 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 the taxi don't need any driver and can run automatically. You can uh, call a taxi via APP, for example. Uh, so currently, we uh, are running a project development project at uh, Lingang. Mm -hmm. Do you know Lingang? Yes, yes. Okay, so we also uh, set up a, a sub-company in July this year mm -hmm. at Lingang. And we also uh, uh, made a strategic cooperation with Lingang Centex City. So uh, we will do uh, at Lingang, we will do their this robotaxi project. Yeah. So here, okay, we are lucky today again, <laughs> green light. A green light again. <laughs> And about our road taxi project, so we have three phases totally. Mm -hmm. And we already finished the first phase uh, at the end of this month. And uh, uh, at the end of this year, we will start the second phase yeah, to continue our project. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we have really lucky day today. So if you have time, you can also go to Lingang to experience our road yes, taxi. Yes, actually I've been there. Really? Yeah. Okay. 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 I hope you can remember the name of our company now, yeah, Max. Sure. <laughs> and no. also remember our two uh, direction. One is uh, for uh, tier one solution, okay. OEM solution. Another is Robo Taxi. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bye. So for the last audience, so we have seen the beautiful lady is waiting for us. Yeah, so for the last part, we will have the beautiful lady. So hi. 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 Ting Ting, how are so, you? Yeah, good. <laughs> so first, can we introduce ourselves? OK, uh, my name is uh, Jane Lin, Lin Yunjie. Mm -hmm. I, I'm from uh, Zhongmu Technology, yeah. Lady Ling have told me so uh, she will have she will take us to have a uh, autonomous parking, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How to make it? Okay, we're going to take a look at how 
Zhong Mutekalan is uh, autonomous vetted parking works. Mm -hmm. so, so this is an app from Zhong Mu, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So we're going to first click on this mm -hmm. pick up. Pick up, yeah. Uh, this yeah, jie left jie left jie jie means jie pick, up. Right, pick up. And then you choose your uh, location, pick up mm -hmm. location. Mm -hmm. You will see it's uh, at here at mm -hmm. the site. Then confirm. He already learned the maps of the yes. The ground, right? So the car already. Oh yeah, yeah, I did, I did, I did yeah. it twice. So, okay. he comes, uh, the car comes. Mm -hmm. Look. Oh, this one, right? Yes, this car. So, actually in daily life, we have uh, a lot of uh, parking scenarios. Mm -hmm. When you go to work, mm -hmm. uh, go to a client's uh, office building, so you are hurry up. And uh, so now, you, you can just leave the car to find a parking place, mm -hmm. and then you just, uh, go up to your client's uh, meeting room. That's one. The second one, if you take your kids, your seniors to the hospital, mm -hmm. and uh, you just leave the car to park itself. And uh, then when, when you come downstairs, mm -hmm. the car will pick you up. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the uh, uh, third one. So there are a lot of uh, parking scenarios in our daily life. So we will think uh, the uh, autonomous valid parking is the most is a, a faster scenario to realize in, ever, uh, in autonomous driving. So now we get on the car. Now, so we will. Yeah. Please uh, close the door. Watch out, watch out. Now we click this uh, valid parking, mm -hmm. autonomous valid parking. Uh, uh, autonomous, right? autonomous. Yeah, yeah, the right one. And then we choose this. Your parking space oh, because we the parking position. Yeah, yeah, parking spot. We are assigned twenty second as our parking space. So now freeze this, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now look. Okay. So uh, same with the vehicle we have just experienced. So the driver from. The engineer from Zongmu is also, we can see his hand is totally off from the from steel. The steel. Mm -hmm. so Thomas parking is a lower, is a low speed level. Actually, the low speed level is about uh, autonomous parking and also autonomous driving in a close environment. For example, in the plant area or in the harbor or in the Air, air, airport. Mm -hmm. So those are close environment. Um, the low speed autonomous driving is fastest mm -hmm. autonomous driving to realize. However, the high speed autonomous driving um, we call L5 level mm -hmm. probably may be realized after 10 years. Mm -hmm. Uh, so that's the industry opinion. And uh, what Jomo does for autonomous valid parking, so we use very low cost sensors. Um, and plus uh, the somatic uh, map and also uh, the machine learning. Um, so for us, we think the Zoom sub Zoom thinks we should provide low cost uh, aut autonomous driving uh, autonomous driving system hardware both hardware uh, software and hardware so consumers can afford so that's our goal we don't use those expensive uh, like a uh, lidar jiguang lidar mm -hmm. but use this uh, cost effective uh, radar for us so th we think this is the only way to for consumers to so meet their see, needs. Yeah, we can see the screen here. Yeah, yes, we can see the screen here. We're not parking. So you can see how this car parks into the parking lot itself. Actually, the parking lot is not big enough. It's not very right, big. Right, right, it's not yeah. big enough. Mm -hmm. This is a different from uh, the parking situations in the West. 
So you in can China, see, yeah, right? we can see the screen. Very, very narrow parking space. Yes. But this is not an easy work for the new driver. New driver yes. or female driver. Sorry, I don't have any gender discrimination. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. a lot. Yeah. Okay, so that's all for our live today. So hope you like our program, love our uh, live today. So see you next time. Bye.